sometimes we ignore a lot of the flags that we see yeah and it's like pay attention yeah i don't care how long you've known these people you probably have known them maybe your whole life right yeah. childhood friends but people's intention can really come you know true after a while especially if you've made it and you became yeah. successful and made a career for yourself and these people have not yeah. people like jealousy is real yeah jealousy hate 100%. people can literally hate you just because you've made it out of somewhere you have something going on for you and they don't Pe yo evil yeah. is real <laughs> hi guys my name is afnan khalifa and i'm coach sayera and welcome to the hate to say it show today's <laughs> topic we're gonna be talking about something that actually happened very recently yep um and it is very very unfortunate yeah um a story about so this happened when this episode gets posted exactly about a month prior to this um there's a 25 year old girl around our age she was from north carolina her name was uh shanquilla robinson and she went to cabo with a group of friends and 24 hours later they all returned home but she was dead in cabo in her hotel room and so their friends called her parents and said listen she's not feeling well um we think she has alcohol poisoning and they already kind of found that kind of strange and when they the family or the friends came back her father was like it does not sit right with me like i know my daughter i don't think it was alcohol poisoning he requested for the full autopsy and they found that she had a um injured spine and her neck was broken and then a video went viral um where the friends were actually beating her up in the hotel room so everyone's like obviously the friends killed her now i don't know That's if that was the point scary. but the fact that she went with a group of people and they all were against her like in the video not one of the other friends tried to step in and be like y'all chill like she's on the ground she's basically naked on the ground by the way because she's ready to like her up they're beating the shit out of her like and they're girls? watching yes and they're watching the girls that are beating is... her up and she's not fighting back she's not fighting back well, what, like what, she probably was drunk or something uh, yeah but i think it was more of just like maybe a state of shock like i don't know like it's one thing when you're in a group of friends and it's like it literally must take you by storm and shock that like all of y'all are my ops and all of you guys are against That's me actually not scary. one of them stepped in That's to help her actually scary. and she's naked and you are on a vacation with supposedly your friends yes yeah five yeah i think them. it was five yeah but it's like like i don't know what kind of friends these are yeah but like you come home mm -hmm. and you just casually say our friend died like that's traumatic you look their parents in the and eye again, i don't i don't know what happened right yeah I, I, have they confirmed that something happened so obviously the autopsy is reporting that she there was no alcohol poisoning in her system so it was definitely so she got beat she, up by like them. how did she like they broke her neck like she they beat her to death they oh, left her to die oh and the, the crazy part oh is God. i personally don't think that they were trying to kill her um and our video said this was when we were talking about it earlier but i think what they were trying to do is they were trying to rob her because this girl is oh 25 but she God. was very successful yeah, she, she had was, done celebrity hair yeah she like was really very popular. like significantly more successful than her friends that significantly is, that is so scary yeah um but that's what we always talk about it's yeah. like be careful who you're around yeah people's intention these days you just like you, you just never know yeah were these your real friends and listen we talked about this before but sometimes we ignore a lot of the flags that we see yeah and it's like pay attention yeah i don't care how long you've known these people you probably have known them maybe your whole life right yeah. childhood friends but people's intention can really come you know true after a while especially if you've made it and you became yeah. successful and made a career for yourself and these people haven't yeah. people like jealousy is real yeah jealousy hate 100%. people can literally hate you just because you've made it out of somewhere you have something going on for you and they don't Pe yo evil yeah. is real evil eye is real and then evil, evil beating is real yeah like i hate to say this and i there know this are is gonna evil people in this world yeah the, the, honestly again i hate to say this is gonna come off a little bit insensitive but a lot of people will look at like okay once i start making a little bit more money okay i don't have to cut some of my friends off and it's like it's gotten to the point now where it's literally for your own safety mm -hmm. like if you have i'm this might sound really really insensitive i like afnan just said you might have a long friendship with people but i'm sorry if we have a major gap in our in our income 
I physically cannot hang around you. Not just because you don't match my level of money and all this stuff, because like, what, why are you not at that level yet? And why are you still friends with me? Are you plotting on something? If I've offered you, if I've offered you a solution out of this life, you're still not willing to take it, but you're hanging around me. There's something else you're trying to take from me. Yeah. Whether it be my energy, whether it be my soul, whether it be my life, like there's something that you want out of me. Well, okay. So I hate to say it too. We've, we've, I've said this before. I can't hang around people that maybe it's not always money wise, yeah. success, personal development, because it's like, what are we going to talk about? Because yeah. I've tried chilling with those people, like my friends yeah. that we were friends before. I have made it to my success today. And like, after you, you, you make it, you're like, it, it's awkward. There's yeah. not much to talk about. You have outgrown these people so much yeah. that there's not much to talk about. And mm. that's why you see a lot of successful people always hang around successful, successful people. people. Rich people hang around rich people, right? Yeah. They don't hang around just broke people because there, there's not much, especially if they're successful, there's not much to talk about. And I hate to say it, but that's why rich people stick beside each other and broke people stick beside each other. Am I, am I right? Am I wrong? No, it's true. I'm right. It's true. This is why fat people hang around with fat people. This is what... <laughs> No, I swear on my life, I was actually watching, listening to a podcast. It makes and, me feel better. Yeah, it makes me I was listening too. to a podcast, and it was like, if even if out of five people, let's say you have one friend that's morbidly obese, you have a fifty-seven percent chance of becoming also obese. Wow! Just because one of your five friends is an obese person, because they're gonna make you feel like it's okay to do that. So that's true. my theory on what happened with this girl is that. The other people were all also, I'm not going to say broke, but maybe not as, you know, rich as her, didn't have the money like her. And they all looked at that as something that they had animosity over. And they all started to hate on her. Like, it's like hate by association. Oh, we all don't make as much money as her. Isn't she kind of annoying but, when she talks about this? Yeah, but let's, let's rob her. But, okay, so th here's the, this is really, this is really powerful. People, when they hate, especially when it's a couple girls or a couple guys hating on someone, it's not usually, oh, we just hate her because she makes more money. That's not usually how it goes, yeah. right? You start, like, catching on things. You're like, oh, my God, that girl is this. It's never like, oh, she's richer than us. That's why we hate her. No one yeah. says it bluntly. Yeah. They say things like, oh, like, she acts that way. Do you see how she acts? I hate it, too. Yeah, and yeah. then you start picking up on, like, every single small thing that these people do, and you actually form a hate toward that person. Yeah. And again, if two people are in the same position one person's gonna start making things up and the other person's just gonna back it up just because yeah. we have the same person that we hate yeah and it just gets worse sometimes like and we've seen it before like you know let's say i say something and you're like yes you're right you're like wait i'm right yes i'm right Yo. and then you yeah, and you may, we, we 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 really believe our own yeah. both lies just yeah. because we're backing our, each other so imagine five friends talking about this yeah. girl plotting against her and it's like they probably said let's go to Cabo and just use her and get her to pay for everything yeah. that's probably what happened but then it ended up maybe she defended herself or she spoke up yeah. and said something and then it got like violent and yeah, so you have horrible. been away on, like, an all-girls girls trip before, right? <laughs> like, just friend-wise, before you got involved in the business, because I did too. I went on an all-girls oh, trip, Okay. and so did you. I'm not gonna lie. Every single time before I got into this business, I went on an all-girls trip. It was a horrible trip. Really? I don't know if it was the people that were around me, right? I wasn't successful, they weren't successful. But, and again, we were odd number, we were three. You know how they say three friends, yeah, yeah, yeah. three girlfriends can't... It's impossible. It was like, oh, this did this, this did this, this girl wants to do this. It was just, it was just bad. It really? wasn't like we weren't boxing and yeah, yeah. whatever. But it was just like weird energy. This person wanted to do this and then we're three, right? So one person have to choose where do they want to go. Yeah, I don't... I don't like I don't like girls trip <laughs> guys not before today yeah. I like it because we're exactly. all mature especially you know our circle mm -hmm. we're all successful we're all rich and we're not just gonna hang out just like yeah. oh let's go like have fun no like yeah. let's go make money what can we do to make money and we're all mature and personal up to actually Literally. know okay like sometimes it just gets sacrificed because she really wants to go there and we'll go there that's fine yeah next time we'll go my way and it's it's different. I think for us now, and a lot of people will see what we do online, that we're consistently traveling, that we're going these places and we're, and you know, what we're doing it in. I can say this with all like honesty and everything in my heart that it's probably the healthiest like 
friendship but also group of girls that i've ever seen true and i'll be on i'm just gonna be super super transparent and i and i hope you agree with me on this it's because the basis of a lot of the friendships and relationships that we have is our business like at the core of it we're here for our business but when you have a core of just well i have a love for this girl or we connected because we have the same hair color or background or whatever it might be these things can fade away but when we know at the core of our friendship like we're all like at the end of it at the very core of it we're very serious about one common thing we're trying to build a business anywhere that we're traveling for anywhere that we're going to like there is a common understanding of why we might be there there's no like we're in la la land and let's just go in with rainbows and butterflies let's be real most friendships are not oh we have a business like to build together it's more like okay we're just we're just friends we've known each other we enjoy our time together and I don't think anything is wrong with that, but a lot of times when that's the base, it does fade away. When, oh, we're yeah. just friends and we love each other, it does fade away. You're right. But when there is a mutual thing that we're working toward mm-hmm. or on, it gives it more support. What would be your tip if there are, because there are girls who are watching this and even some guys, I don't know why we, like, guys, we, we talk about it because we're females and this is just what happens. Yeah. I know men get set up all the time. If anything, men are involved That's with true. much more violent That's situations true. with their friends. That's facts. I know way more men who get set up, um, yeah. violence way more than women. It's just sad when it happens to girls because they're like girl code. What would you do or what would what advice would you give to someone who genuinely feels like their circle is A, could possibly be against them, but they don't know if they're like kind of tripping out about it or they just feel as if like, I, I am elevating against them, but I don't know how to pull away from them without seeming like I'm not uh, like this. I'm better than you persona. Um, so here's what I did, right? When, when I got into this business and I, okay, I'll be honest, this business that we're in saved me, saved my life because literally we, we talked about it before. It's like, where do you like search up? Oh, I want better friends, right? <laughs> it's like, I want better community. I want better girlfriends around me. And it's like, where do you find? And one girl actually commented there's a website for it. But I'm like, really? if I don't know about don't it, trust all that. the cool girls don't know no. about it. So, no. um, you know what I mean? But it's like, this business is what got me this community. And then when I when I got in, I just started hanging out more with the people in, in, in obviously, in our circle. Yeah. Um, getting close to them. And saying no to, like, hang out with my other friends. Like, yeah. oh, let's go, to, like, let's go out for a restaurant. Uh, are we just going to eat at the restaurant? Like, we're not going to talk about how to make money? Ah. Uh, I don't yeah. want any to do that, right? And no after no after no, they, they're going to understand that you're yeah. going to fade away. And, you know, out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. I always say that, so. Damn. She said out of sight, out of mind. Guys, don't, don't let, like. That? No, I believe in that, but. 100%. I believe it's, <laughs> like, out of, that's why if I don't want to see you, you're blocked, and I, you, I forget about you in one day. That's not treats her friendships like her relationships. Okay, no, I'm not that. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how she treats them. Yeah, out of sight, out of mind. I think that the concept of, like, loyalty, and I, I hear this a lot with guys. When I speak to them, they're like, I'm loyal. I'm this, the, the loyalty tatted on their army while they yeah, cheat a hundred times a day. Yeah, to what, to your but friends? No, I don't know, but, you know, they... The, let me tell you this right now. No, if like, a man has loyalty tatted on him, he cheats on you every hour of the day. <laughs> like, number one tip, trust me. Like, there are out there loyalty <laughs> or, like, faith. <laughs> Anyways, no. Um, Hope. I have my mom. You know, the praying hands on one side. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, guys, if a lot of people will stay in uh, friendships because they'll say I'm, I'm loyal oh, to the core, okay, whatever so this no, is. So this is really good. Yeah. I can be loyal to you and not talk bad about you. That's also loyalty. Yeah. But I don't need to be in your presence all day long, every single day. Yeah. And we don't have to be best friends. I can be loyal to you and yeah. protect you, mm-hmm. uh, speak the best about you and just, you know, have yeah. a good relationship or friendship but from a distance. Yeah, I hate to say it. Some of these bitches don't see, don't want to see you win. Some of these bitches don't want to see you win, girls. I'm being honest with you guys. Some girls, misery oh, loves company. They will see that you, they are miserable and they want to 100%. be miserable with somebody. So they will drag you down, 100%. pull you down, lock something to your 100%. legs and guys, throw you in the ocean so you drown. Guys, like, that's what they do. And some with some men, too. Yeah. Men, too. Guys, ladies, Please make sure the people that are around you, your friends, mm-hmm. your relationships have the best interest. Like, listen, I'm, I hate to say this, but if you have to put on some tests Damn. for people to test their loyalty, to test what they can do for you in like situations, fake it. Like, fake it to just see what would that person do. Because yeah. why? What if nothing bad happens in this friendship, mm-hmm. and I wouldn't, and then something happens after three years, and you don't have my back? No, man, I'm gonna yeah. test you. 
exactly. test your relationships, fake the test, put people into pressure, and make sure they're good before you have actually like yeah. uh, you know become close with them. I'm, I'm I hate to say it, but yeah. you gotta test people. Traveling is fun and all, but I'll be honest with you guys again. Traveling randomly with a group of people who you are on the edge with. If you if your gut instinct tells you something is off, don't do it. People are ruthless. Again, I don't think they meant to kill this girl, but even the fact that they robbed her and beat her down like that, like yeah. that's really serious. Like that's scary, and like that no one stood up for her. So if your gut instinct is telling you something, but, okay, so step he, away. okay, I don't want to be FBI or cia but <laughs> we are fbi or cia I F- middle eastern girls are the fbi and cia i will find out about whoa, your whoa, past whoa, in 30 whoa. minutes folder will be she out. actually will grandparents she names are there she i actually, know when where you celebrate if your i want to find out about anything i'm texting it to sayana sayana such have this name she's gonna find their history where they were born where they are located right now what street are they walking on this girl is fbi but anyway but i don't want to be fbi or cia um but um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> With her friends. Oh, it was so good. Oh, yes. I don't want to be FBI or CIA, but think about it this way. Because maybe, you know, maybe it wasn't her friends. They did not beat her up. Maybe it was some stranger. No, it's a uh, video. <laughs> maybe they did. They hurt her a little bit, okay? let's. But if it actually was someone else beating her, maybe on the street oh. or something the people would have said oh this happened to her but none of them said that she got beat up no that's what makes them the victim and again you know i'm not fbi or cia but hey you know i can qualify we can pre-qualify this, this is evidence this Done. is solid evidence that they need to like she, this girl needs justice i hope that she I gets need, it I, we I need do. justice well <sighs> these people if if they did it and god knows what happened if they did it they that girl needs justice they deserve what is coming for what them what sucks about um some things that it's a legal system not a justice system but i wish it was a justice system sometimes i wish it was but i don't know if she'll get that mind you all their stories were different the reason i brought it up is again because like i said a lot of people and you said all the stories were different when they were talking yes. to yes Boom. they just said that to her parents and into their parents face by the way they sat on in their home They're and said guilty. Guilty she char- she guilty. has a uh, alcohol poisoning CIA, but again fbi of none i really wanted to bring this up <laughs> CIA, if none. agent number one agent number two but the reason why i wanted to bring it up is because um i again a lot of people, girls and men but a lot of people see the lifestyle that we live that we're consistently traveling and it's like well, first of all I, I travel with a group of people that i trust indefinitely but that trust is not based off of just la la land and feelings and emotions and oh my god sisterhood it's based off of we're all there for a common reason and we have our head on straight we're not just there to you know randomly you know throw it up in the air and travel and party and see where god takes us no we know where god's gonna take us we have it planned out so we're not leaving that up to the hands of you know random people so that's why i wanted to bring it up but be cautious of who you guys hang guys, around be with very be very very cautious of it nowadays people are whack jobs it's a it's a scary world out yeah. there and you just never know someone's true intentions no. people are great actors i think everyone should have their own reality show because what the hell are we living in right now Oscar like, nominee I, I'm I'm just so over this reality show everyone is living yeah. uh, acting out their whole entire life you don't find a lot of genuine people these days you know what there's a recession coming everyone's trying to rob you so just <laughs> your friends are trying to rob you <laughs> just just y'all be careful make sure you you tell your families where you you're at yeah. your people that actually love you because y'all protect yourself at all costs put your friends into tests friends and relationship do the test like fake a test fake that yeah. you're in a car accident fake that someone shot you fake some stuff to see what would actually happen if that happened to you and if they pass the test tell them you pass i was testing you are you passed the test it's now like when you friends. text your man and you're like i'm in the hospital and he like freaks out and you're like i just need you no, to call but make me. it like the worst case scenario you're like yeah. I- i'm like dead <laughs> <laughs> bro who's gonna text that i'm dead anyways guys that was our episode uh make sure that you guys tag two friends repost follow i hate to say show on instagram every single week we'll give a hundred dollar bitcoin giveaway and we could chat you out on our instagram which can help you a lot especially if you're trying to also grow your business amen uh but with that being said guys <laughs> hate to say it uh, let us know, by the way, if you yeah. if you guys have any topics you want you want us to talk about in the comments. Uh, let us know what you think. We always love hearing you and your comments and your feedback. Uh, until then, stay, stay rich. rich. <laughs>